Hey friends, this is Demi. If this is your first time, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're also a returning subscriber, thank you. Please give this video a very big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel at the end if you enjoyed watching it. So guys, happy new month, happy holidays, it's the holidays, like, I'm so happy December is here. Like, I'm really glad. So, happy new month. And if you're watching this video, please subscribe, like, it is a new month. Be nice and subscribe to my youtube channel like subscribe to my channel here yeah please subscribe to my channel and then in today's video right i'm going to be talking about things only girls can relate to i'm sure guys you must have seen some of us do these things and you may be wondering why so this video is going to answer like when a girl sneeze like girls when you sneeze when you're on your period you feel like a volcano just erupts like you just feel like Oh my god, like you have to like if you have to stand up to check and make sure you are not staying. Like because it just like when you sneeze, it just feels so like it feels a, like a lot of as a, like a lot of blood has come out from there. It just be like, okay, let me check if I'm wet. Or you just stand up to check your seat and make sure you're not staying. Even though most of the time nothing happens, but you just feel like a lot has come out. So girls you think you know girls do is that when you're in public, you mistake like you just see yourself do like like you just touch your boobs by me so it's like it's just like a subconscious thing that we do like you don't purposely want to you just find yourself doing like this or so i've done that in, in one of my videos and i realized i was touching on like why was i doing that but it's just something that happens like it just happens do you get so girls we do that and i'm sure guys must have seen girls do like this sometimes like we don't want to do like it just happened like i don't know but it just happens when you just like touch it so <laughs> it's so it's so embarrassing but Sometimes you just can't control it. Another thing that girls we do is that, or our moms do, like when they are talking to us, they shout unnecessarily. Like when I before I, I'm going out, before I come back, you must clean this place, you must wash the dishes, mop the floors, do everything, and they shout unnecessarily. Like just you can just talk gently. When they are talking to the boys, like hey baby, like they are all sweet, I'm all nice, I'm all good. Like why? Like they'll, they'll be spoiling these boys. Like. Ugh. They just be shouting at us unnecessarily, and then when it's with the boys, they talk so gently, and you'll be like, Is this your mom talking because of how quiet she is or how nice she's talking? But I think maybe our dad are nice, our dads are nice to us, right? I think so. I'm not sure, but that's what that's how I mean, you get your period. Like, you don't like maybe you don't expect to get your period that day, and then you get your period, and then you just have to, you are so slack. You don't know maybe maybe where you are is not a place that you can go out to like buy a pad or get something and then you have to use a tissue like it's not something you want to do but you just have to do it just like a it's a temporary thing just to like hold the blood and then before everything like before you get it back because the tissue is like very uncomfortable like very uncomfortable like you don't even know it's very uncomfortable so that's one thing that we girls go through another thing is when you just wear a pad, hmm? you just change your pad. When you wear a new pad, when you walk, you hear the sound of the pad. Like, it doesn't feel right. You feel like you didn't adjust it. Sometimes you turn back to the bathroom and then you try to, like, change your pad and adjust it. But it's fine. But when you come out, you still feel, like, really uncomfortable. And then when you are walking, you hear the sound of the nylon at the back of the pad. You feel like everybody around you can hear it. But trust me. You're the only one that can hear it. No one can hear that. Like, or me, there's this thing I do, right? That when I just wear a pad, sometimes I don't know. Maybe I'm before you just find me, like, I just like touch and make sure that okay, it's straight, it's all good. Like, I don't know why I do that, but that's another thing. That another thing girls do is if it's a you wear the same bra for one week, one month, and you really love that, like, you wear the same bra for a really long time. I remember when I was younger, I just got my mom just got me a bra, and then. I wore this bra for like a month. Like I was wearing my bra twenty, let's say twenty three seven. The only time I took off my bra was when I was in the shower. Like I sleep with it, I do everything with it. I didn't know I was supposed to wash it. And then my mom asked me one day, "Are you washing it?" And I'm like, "Oh, you're supposed to wash it." <laughs> I didn't know, but I was always like wearing my bra like every time. Another thing we can do and get away with it is that you can wear you they, you you some wear you wear your bra for like a week. And then you don't change it. You don't wash it. Hmm. Don't be nasty. And that thing, girls, is you leave your your hair strands 
everywhere like if you go to a girl's house i can bet with you that you will find that extra everywhere in the house if the toilet the bathroom the room the living room the kitchen the dining i really hope it's not in the kitchen like if it is in the kitchen girl you need to do something but you leave your air strand everywhere like another thing girls only girls can relate to is that after wiping you check the toilet paper like everybody should do that now like after you wipe you look at the toilet paper and make sure that oh yeah it's like the right color but if it's not we just look at it by default i don't know everybody i feel like everybody should like you just look at the toilet paper that's one thing another thing is when you wear leggings your butt shakes like so much like that's one of the reasons why i stopped wearing leggings. like i don't wear leggings i only wear leggings when i want to work out or do stuff but when you wear leggings the way your butt shakes like mm, it's always like a loss like it's just like <laughs> but i'm sure maybe some guys must have noticed when girls wear leggings they have butt that shakes when you use or uh, your eyes are itching you and then you itch your eyes and you be like i forgot i have a mascara on because when you have a mascara on you can't like itch your eyes or maybe you have eyeshadow or if you have lashes you can still itch your eyes but maybe you have mascara on or you have eyeshadow you can't itch your eyes like if you're going to like mess up whatever you've done and then your if it's mascara your fingers are going to be black or if it is eyeshadow you call your eyeshadow the eyeshadow paint I don't know but the eyeshadow is going to be on your finger and it's not going to be as neat as it was so when you when you use mascara or you are wearing eyeshadow you do not eat your eyes i don't know what i do maybe i just like stay put or i just like do it gently with my finger i try not to use my thumb at all i just use my finger to like each that way like the damage is lesser and then you don't like go in 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 like it's just like your Thing. like i have just this that i have done this just for once like okay you wear clothes and then it is rumpled see me i'm doing that thing again i'm touching it but okay you wear clothes and it is rumpled and then you do like oh i can't kill myself you use your air straightener to iron your clothes yes girls do that but it's just because maybe you want your clothes you can't remove it again you just be like oh well <laughs> what could happen you use your air straightener to just like straighten straighten your clothes as and as and i also like i know your clothes yeah girls do that i'm exposing us today so girls do that another thing is when you fix your nails you when you want to open a slide you know you know my want to open you open your slide you know like this but because you fix your nails you have to open it like this like with this place you have to open it with this place or when you want to press keyboard normally if you, or if you want to use your phone normally you press your phone like with like the top of your thing like up here but because you have your nails you have to use like here or use here maybe you are using the keyboard or atm to, or when you're using the keyboard you type with this part you don't type like up in front when you're using the atm and you're like pressing the pins or, or whatnot you don't press it like this you either press it like this like with this place yes or you press that's the only way you can press or so you press it here but there are times when it's like really up and your nails will like disturb you so you have to press use here or this one is better and that one is when you want to open a can like with your nails when you want to open a can of mold you can't like open it here you have to open it like with your side like with the side of your hand that's how you open a can of mold another thing is when you have a cream or maybe your primer or whatnot that you have to dip your finger inside you can dip your finger in. So if it is like a really low can, you can use here. Or you ask maybe a guy around you or any other girl that doesn't have like a next a nails fix to help you like use your hand to like dip the cream and then bring it up. Because if you put your hand inside the whatever you put, maybe the cream or the lotion or anything, it's going to get stuck like behind your fingers or into your fingers and then they will come out easily. I said maybe use like a brush or something to like I've seen girls do this thing. Another thing girls when you see like a girl is wearing a long sleeve and you see that she dips her hand into her bag and then when she brings out her hand you don't see anything. You just see she stands up and she leaves to go to the bathroom. That was a part like I don't know why we then like it was mostly in high school, secondary school. We don't know why we had we live the kind of lives that we don't have our periods like we don't like do it so discreetly like or you take your toe you just dip your hand into your back and you come out like you bring your hand really fast and they just stand up and leave like i don't know why we're really discreet like we're always so discreet when we want to get all this any chair with a nail 
like on the back like on the backrest any chair with a nail or bolt or knot or something your if your hair is long like maybe you have your braids or you have your wig or weave or, or something your hair is going to tangle around you like you don't do it purpose like your nail your hair is just going to tangle around the bolts like it just happens like and when you stand up abruptly like that pain is another thing that girls will understand is you use you fix your nail and then you eat that nail or something oh my god it's painful like that stuff is painful like really really like i can't explain the amount of pain like guys if you are watching like i can't explain the amount of pain you feel but when you eat your nail or something it's very painful very take it from me it is very painful really really painful another thing that only girls do or girls will understand is you see like you feel like you are staying and then you are walking or you're about to stand you just tell any guy around you have to just can you ask them like can you check if i stay and then you just stand up and do as if you are going and then you turn back and if she gives you or she does like or she gives you like nothing it means that you are good to go but she's like Come back, come back, come back. It means another thing some girls do is that it's of it is a hair dryer to dry your hair. But because you don't have the patience and you don't have the time, you just use a towel and then you shake your hair like so hard, like you shake your hair like like a dog to like get out the excess water. And then you just use your towel to like dry, 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 and then you run out because you don't want to use an hair dryer. Or then you be like, or you, if you are going out, you be like, oh, I can't, I can't stress myself. The breeze is going to dry my hair, or the wind is going to dry my hair. That's another thing that only girls, girls will relate like when you want to do your eyeshadow your mouth your no i didn't say eyeshadow your mascara you you do your mascara with your mouth open like nobody does their mascara like no it, it can't work you have to like do like this that's like if you watch a lot of makeup videos like makeup tutorials you see that when they're doing stuff around your eyes your mouth is like always open and all that like no but i don't think so. like doing your mascara with your mouth closed cannot be the same when you do it with your mouth open because i think if your mouth is closed your skin is tight but when your mouth is open your skin is like free and then you have a lesser chance of staining your face with your mascara or stuff like that and that thing only girls can relate to is when you have makeup on i don't know why i'm doing like this like i don't get it okay i'm trying to pull this thing down but another thing that only girls can relate to is when you have makeup on you can't like scratch your face or rub your face or like do something in your face like you have to make sure your hands is as far as possible away from your face like you can't touch your face when you have makeup on like you can't like dab or like do like this if you do it by mistake you smudged your makeup so you try to like move your hands as far as possible so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope guys i've been able to tell you some things that girls do that you didn't really understand so if you found this video helpful give it a very big thumbs up right thumbs up my video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down telling me about maybe other things that girls do or any other thing i'm definitely going to read all your comments and respond and respond to them so guys if happy holidays again happy new month i really hope this month brings good things and please give me new month gifts by subscribing and sharing my video like i would be so grateful if you could do that like i really would be so i'll see you guys in my next video bye